you got to be optimistic. You know, it's part of your livelihood, it's part of your culture, it's part of your family, it's a part of everything. So it's hard to believe when they say there are no fish, that they aren't coming back. And how, how do we uh, adjust for that? And our fishermen adjust for that. And it's difficult. And the bottom line is we aren't going to be the entity or the government that kills off the last remaining salmon. It's up to us to protect it. They, they just really didn't show up in any numbers to, have a, to, to be able to support a fishery. It's, you know, they just aren't there. So then it's up to the tribal council to move in and make sure that the fish that are going through can at least get some sort of escapement. It's, it's, it's quite a balance that everything has to be in place for these fish to come through. And we do our best to help that happen, you know, with, with our fish hatcheries, our stream surveys, our fisheries people. You know, we're, we're doing our share in this, in this in world of trying to keep the fish alive. Your, your hurt pride, your hurt culture, culturally. You're, uh, you begin to wonder just what's left in this activity that's guaranteed in our treaty because there's a lot of things up in the air now. You know, I can say the tribes are doing their part in trying to piece this thing back together, but it's not like it was.